You're going to hear the name of tonight's newsmaker a lot during the next couple of weeks. In fact, two weeks from tomorrow night will mark the opening of the $93 million Stephen Tanger Center for the Performing Arts, which will be among the largest and most significant facilities built in downtown Greensboro in our lifetimes. You're about to meet Stephen Tanger himself and see what it's like to walk inside for the first time a building that carries your name. This will, in my dream, hope lead to a renaissance of Greensboro. And with this building now taking up a significant part of downtown, you could argue that revival has already started, thanks in part to the man whose name the Performing Arts Center carries. And while Stephen Tanger has watched these limestone walls go up like the rest of us, walking in the front door with me here marked his first time inside the place. A place where 3,023 seats make it the largest theater venue in North Carolina and one of the largest in the United States. Many private donors helped make this possible. Of those, Tanger, whose wife Caroline joined us for the tour here in the center's gallery hallway, contributed seven and a half million dollars, making him the largest donor and giving him naming rights. It also made his first sight of the expansive Kaplan Theater more special and it happened at this moment. He was almost at a loss for words. This is beautiful. This is very impressive. It's very inspirational. Uh, it's very moving. And I think this will be uh, a place where people in Greensboro will enjoy for their selves, for themselves, for their children, for their grandchildren. It's no surprise Tanger mentions family since he's so close to his and since his family helped him reach this decision. I had talked to both my mother and my sister about the idea of making a, a donation and they both said you should do uh, what you can do and if it means the naming rights, you should do it because this is our home. In fact, Tanger's family was living in Greensboro when his retired textile executive father, the late Stanley Tanger, came up with the idea in 1981 to cluster apparel manufacturer outlet stores together in what would become the Burlington Manufacturers Outlet Center, the first of its type in the United States. The company would eventually become Tanger Factory Outlet Centers, a company still headquartered in Greensboro and one that owns 39 outlet centers in 20 states in Canada. In 2009, Stephen Tanger took over as CEO of the company when his father retired. It's a job he still holds. My mother and my father taught me uh, the meaning of philanthropy. I was taught it's our responsibility and I try to teach my children it's their responsibility to help other people. So Tanger sees this gift as one that will, among other things, bring more people into Greensboro, attract more companies, produce jobs, and help the people who live in the city where he grew up. Do you have a specifically reserved seat in here or do you have to buy tickets like everyone else? We've picked our seats for the, perform for the, uh, for the Broadway, Broadway series. Yes but I don't have assigned seats, nor do I have uh, free tickets. I buy tickets for everything, just like everybody else. I am happy and honored to have my name uh, on the door, and I hope that it, uh, it inspires other people in whatever way they can to participate in, uh, in performing arts, to show their children, grandchildren, family members, invite people to Greensboro, uh, either introduce them to the performing arts or let them enjoy the performing arts, whatever they may be. Tanger told me he originally wanted his donation to be anonymous to learn about who convinced him otherwise and why, plus how a pizza lunch of all things helped him reach this decision Check out my article that accompanies this story in the Newsmakers section of our website, myfox8.com. Now, the official grand opening of the Stephen Tanger Center for the Performing Arts is scheduled for Friday, March 20th. Grammy Award-winning singer Josh Groban's concert 
will be the very first program.